Blackpink's Lisa has once again found herself at the center of an online firestorm after newly leaked Hybe internal documents revealed pointed criticism of her 2023 performance at the Crazy Horse Cabaret in Paris. Although many fans had initially celebrated the show as a bold artistic move, the performance stirred controversy for its provocative burlesque elements, which clashed with the typically polished and mainstream image that Blackpink has cultivated over the years. On November 1, a fresh set of internal Hybe reports surfaced, diving deeper into concerns surrounding Lisa's Crazy Horse show and how her participation might impact the public perception of Blackpink. The documents claim that while Lisa may have intended to challenge societal norms around nudity and express herself in an empowering way, her choice of a burlesque venue was seen as naive and potentially detrimental to the group's image. The leaked report hinted that, in Hybe's view, her performance in an environment synonymous with adult entertainment might overshadow any artistic intentions, especially given Blackpink's widespread influence among young audiences. The report went on to discuss how Lisa's decision had not only sparked discussions on feminism and gender but also raised questions about Blackpink's approach to social issues in general. According to the document, Blackpink has traditionally refrained from integrating themes of gender empowerment or social advocacy into their music or public image, focusing instead on producing music and content with broad mainstream appeal. As a result, Hybe speculated that this lack of alignment with the group's established brand might have fueled the criticism surrounding Lisa's performance, with some fans and industry insiders questioning whether the Crazy Horse show represented a significant departure from Blackpink's usual identity. The report also commented on the potential impact of other Blackpink members attending the show, suggesting that their presence added another layer of visibility to the performance, perhaps unintentionally amplifying the controversy. Hybe's critique appeared to frame Blackpink as a group that, until now, has not publicly addressed feminist or gender-related issues and has generally kept a low profile regarding their personal lives. The report further implied that Lisa's foray into a more provocative performance space might have had unintended consequences for the group's image as a whole, noting that Blackpink's branding has largely centered on their music and international appeal rather than social or political statements. This new wave of scrutiny arrives in the wake of previous leaks from Hybe's internal communications, which allegedly contain similarly critical observations about Blackpink's activities. Fans are divided, with some rallying around Lisa in defense of her artistic freedom, while others are discussing the broader implications of the group's public image and how internal pressures from industry giants like Hybe might influence artists' personal choices. On social media, blinks and netizens alike are debating whether Lisa's performance should be celebrated as a boundary-pushing artistic statement or if it indeed posed risks to the Blackpink brand. The leak has ignited larger conversations about the pressures female K-pop idols face when balancing artistic expression with maintaining a curated public persona, especially within the heavily scrutinized K-pop industry. Many fans view the internal critique as reflective of ongoing gender biases, suggesting that Lisa's performance may have been held to a different standard than male idols' ventures into edgier concepts or artistic experimentation. As the situation continues to unfold, fans are eagerly awaiting any statements or responses from Lisa, Blackpink's agency, or Hybe. In the meantime, the controversy has only intensified public curiosity around Blackpink's future projects and how they might navigate the intersection of personal expression and professional image going forward. For now, Lisa remains at the forefront of a debate that speaks to the challenges of artistry, branding, and individuality in one of the world's most competitive music industries. For more updates and ongoing coverage on this and other K-pop industry news, be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for all the latest developments.